Hey YouTube, it's India Khalees and welcome back to another video. Okay, so where did we leave off? So yeah, I'm gonna start with where I was the last video. So of course, last video y'all saw, it was February 8th to be exact. And in that video, I was telling y'all how I was quitting my job, right? So I had quit that Victoria's Secret job that I was working. And then like that same week or whatever, I went and got another job and I was working at a florist and I was doing like data entry, like taking orders and stuff like that. I wasn't even designing flowers. I didn't even get that far. I was only there like three weeks. So. After that, my birthday, of course y'all missed my birthday, but I didn't do that much for my birthday. We just went out to dinner, it was real simple. After my birthday is when everything really started going. So after my birthday, we was really just fed up and tired. So obviously from you, you can see by the title of this video and where I am, <laughs> I'm nowhere near Maryland and I'm very gr grateful and glad to be away from that freaking side of the country because yeah, that was just a mess. Anyway, so around this time, like we was so tired and stressed and didn't have no time to ourselves because we was working them jobs and at the time I was still doing my schoolwork. Well, doing my schoolwork, but we gonna get to that later. So oh yeah, after I quit my job at the flower shop, I quit my job on the 26th. No, the 23rd he quit his job on the 20th of february and had made me go do it literally like three days later and i went in there and did not go back yeah um, quit that job and then for school like i said i'm getting to school he dropped out in january so it was already done with the um semester way before me well just a month or so before me but was just working but i was working and still trying to do my school work so around this time when i i literally just gave up that work bro like i just it was really over not learning nothing i mean y'all see me when i was going to school and how irritating that stuff was like and driving down there every day i've been stopped going down there i was doing online classes but it wasn't cutting no more i wasn't learning a thing <laughs> it wasn't learning a thing nothing valuable i wasn't being taught how to get on money just being taught to work for somebody else so yeah it just it wasn't working out no more we had to depart we had to see our separate ways so yeah after i stopped doing that school work and i quit my job we literally we had to lock in like i couldn't it wasn't no picking up the phone picking up the camera we was literally we had our head down ducked down for a month just learning and learning and learning everything that we could about how to make our own money literally because i was overworking for other people being told what to do and then figured out in that victoria's secret job they want you to work your way from the bottom up to the top just to still be working for somebody else like you a store manager if you know ever work retail then you know how it go but like even if you a store manager you're still working for someone else you don't own the store like <laughs> It, it just it just wasn't cool for me no more. I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't fathom the fact of working for somebody else. I just couldn't. So like I said, after we got done with school and we got done working them jobs, we started our own business. Like I said, learning everything that we could about finances and about credit and about business funding because we knew that if we began our own business, you know, we were gonna need money to start it basically. And everything that we learned, bro, TikTok, YouTube, like everything we learned online for free. And what's really crazy about that is like we went to school and then we in so much debt because of school and student loans and all of that bull and paying to not learn a freaking thing come to find out we go online and try to teach ourselves for one free and much easier to obtain like it just it just wasn't making sense so we learned how to start making our own money with credit learning everything that we could about business funding so I'm gonna break down how we even got to this point or what was going on while we were cooking up our business, right? Because coming down here is like a whole separate side of the story. So about the business, started learning everything and then we went and had a business photo shoot and I posted them on Instagram too. So that was like my first pictures back from Instagram. Like I said, follow me on Instagram at India Cleese. But yeah, we posted our pictures for our photo shoot and we made our website, had our social media presence and everything for our business, you know, making sure that we look legit and look like a real business, you know, just having some professional then after that after we learned everything that we could well not that we could just started learning a whole bunch about business funding and credit we went and got business products with chase american express well so we start off with bank of america yeah that's really the main three but throughout all of those banks we had 15k in funding 15 thousand hundred dollars one five zero 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 okay <laughs> that's how much we began that's how much we started with in credit again credit not our money using other people's money 
So yeah, after we had our money, then we flew out to Arizona. We booked our flight. I got me a Delta car from Amex and that paid for our flight here. Paid for our rental car and everything. We didn't have no plan when we came out here. Like we literally just <laughs> went to the airport with no rental car booked. We didn't have a place to stay. We just, we literally just came out here and just said, fuck it. Like we just, <laughs> We have to fuck around and find out. So we came out here um, March 19th, and then with the first day we came out here, we toured one property. The property that we toured that first day is who we ended up applying for and renting out. And so after we had got everything set up, it took us, well, like I said, we got there the 19th, and we listed it on March 30th. So we flew out March, March 19th, and we listed it on March 30th, and we listed it, and we got a booking on the same day. So overall, from um, this timeline, starting from when I left to now, when this video is gonna be uploaded, we were able to quit our jobs, drop out of school, start a business, and start making passive income with our business, like I said, because we were tired of working for other people. So throughout all of this, we started learning how to teach others and figure out how we can help other people, but I'm gonna talk about that later down the line. Anyways, we gonna get back to the storyline. So after we came out here, got it listed, got our first booking, we left and went back to Maryland like a couple days after i think we came back i want to say we came back like the first couple days of april i'm not too sure do you remember what day we came back to maryland no first week of april or something like that and we ended up only staying there until april 11th and i sold my car i donated like 75 percent of my clothes threw away all of our unnecessary stuff from the dorms because like in that apartment in maryland it was just so much junk so much dead weight and like uh it was just terrible so we got rid of like 90 percent of our stuff as a whole and like 75 percent of our clothes like all our clothes was old like we just literally got rid of everything just starting over and then like i said we sold all of our stuff like our unnecessary stuff and we sold all of our furniture and we sold our apartment we literally sold everything no ties we didn't want nothing tied to maryland i didn't want to bring my car out here because it was just it was just old to me problems and we drove from phoenix i mean sorry <laughs> drove from maryland to phoenix 32 hours in 2,426 miles, drove it. Drove all the way from Maryland to Phoenix. And it took, what, two days? Three days technically, because the first day we left at like five and then ended up um, staying somewhere that night. But two real days. It was like 16 hours the first day and like, it was about the same next day. It was 32 in, in total, but yeah. We did it in two days, which was fantastic. And yeah, now we're here. So like I said, we started learning how to teach other people how to begin their business, whether it's for Airbnb, that's just like the route we, we took. And as far as educating people, we built a community and we're also taking one-on-one -on -one calls to help other people. And the reason for us even trying to help other people or talk about a period, one is because we're trying to reach um, our target audience in other words we want to be talking to people that we can relate to because for one it's just really no point in conversating <laughs> Not to be rude, but no point in conversating if we're not in the same, not in the same path, I guess. Not path, but headspace, mindset. Cause it's really hard to, I'm not gonna say hard, but it's it's definitely a different route that we chose to take. And you not, it's only a certain amount of people that's gonna get it. It's like, if you get it, you get it, bro. Like, I can't really sit here and tell you. Whenever somebody asks or wanna know something, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you to quit your job. I'm not gonna tell you you gotta drop out of school, but I'm telling you to quit your job. <laughs> I'm telling you to drop out of school. <laughs> because it's not doing nothing for you. And I only come out here to talk about it because y'all saw how miserable I was in Maryland, bro. Like that last video, it was just pitiful. Like, I think it was like where I was mentally, spiritually, and physically, like it's a whole different ball game now. And it's dark right now, but we gonna have constant videos and consistency on this channel from here on out because I got something to talk about and I want y'all to hear it. So you just gonna have to, I don't know, click off the video, you have to unsubscribe because today I got a lot to say about what's been going on. So now I'm gonna talk about what's happened after um, we got here. So after we came back, we decided that we needed to have a larger social media presence for our business and for our personal pages just because 
like I said, we want to reach the right people. So for one, like in Arizona, because that's that's where we are, we moved in Phoenix. We're looking for anybody, period, who is on the same path. If you create content, if you're an entrepreneur, if you have your own businesses, if you want to learn more about credit and any kind of report history, anything like that, we're definitely down to talk and collab and create some content. Outside of that, we're looking for a cameraman because, oh my gosh, if I if we would have had a cameraman when we came to set up the Airbnb, y'all would have loved it. But it's just so hard for us to be like recording and doing stuff because like our hands are full. Like it's just me and Kylan. Like we can't always have the camera up when we doing stuff like, literally both hands full like we was at the mall the other day shopping like damn we can't record shit because our hands are literally full hands are full so we're looking for a cameraman and an assistant to be honest so if you are in the area and you come across this video and you know you're looking for some stuff to do and you creating content and looking for another path we can help you for one start your business to free up your time to create more content because that's really what we aiming for like that's the goal out of any of this is that we want more free will and more time because time is really more valuable than money like we didn't gave up the concept of money so hard and I mean like liquid cash or the money that you have where you saving up because like it takes forever to save up money but I can get approved for the same amount or more in the same day point being that check ain't doing nothing for you and so if you looking to get rid of that check and start making your own money on your own terms on your own time at your own pace in your own way hit my line because I want to help you and I want to see you succeed just like how we have so I'm not coming on here to like I mean of course we're fortunate but I'm not coming on here to brag or to say we got it better than anybody else because we don't work or go to school we work for ourselves that's not the point of any of this the point is to see that it's possible because we did it and you can do it because I'm only 20 bruh like I'm only 20 and I know that there are other kids in our same position especially black kids and I don't mean to like not include others but just because I'm a black girl is who I'm gonna relate to most or who I, who somebody may, might be able to relate to or um yeah just relate to because you in my or we're in similar position so I say black girl just because we can relate better Anyways, yeah, if you're looking to escape your nine to five or find a different route, let us know because we want to see you do better just like how we have. We were able to be so fortunate to just pick up our things and let God take the hands because like I said, we had no plan of direction. I mean, of course we had a concept of what we wanted to do, but like, like I said, when we came out here, we didn't have anything booked. We didn't have anything planned. Literal leap of faith. I mean, that's all I can say. Everybody's not going to be in the same position to do so, but we can definitely help you fast track any of that i'm done yapping <laughs> i think this is long enough think i need to keep going no okay i got 15 minutes here this should be plenty to post for y'all and i'm not gonna do too much editing y'all still know that i'm editing is not the best so if you're an editor if you think you could match my edit style in any type of way or got some work that you could show me hit my line i'm gonna update my bio with like my email and everything and our business information so you can reach us because we definitely looking for an editor a cameraman an assistant and no that's it that's it yeah cameraman assistant and um editor <laughs> editor yeah that's it okay i'm gonna end the video here i'm gonna catch up with y'all tomorrow but i do want to know if you are looking to record anywhere in the area anywhere out west period and you think that you can relate to our content or can see us making some content together let us know because we want to collab and yeah that's all i gotta say i'm gonna end it off here make sure i like comment and subscribe follow my instagram and let me know what other videos y'all want to see because i'm also trying to find my new content style because how it was before is definitely not how not how it's going to be coming forward just because it's a new area and i'm gonna let y'all go walk around show them no it's dark yeah that's what i said earlier yeah i'm gonna catch up with y'all tomorrow i'm not doing much anyways we just sit at the park not doing too much i'm gonna end it off here miss you guys see you later